Thank you, new subscribers. You get a JB subscriber ovation. Guys, I'm super excited to shoot this video today. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, guys, here we are. It's Friday night. I have two bottles of hot sauce. I have three low salt Pringle chips per bottle to give this hot sauce a try. And today is special. And the reason why I've been looking forward to shooting this video is because my friend Kyle Griffiths actually made a sauce that's named after me, JB's Dragon. So I am super pumped to give this a try because this was made with Dragon's Breath peppers that I grew last season. I gave him a bunch, he fermented them, used his magic, worked his magic, and created a hot sauce with Dragon's Breath peppers in it, which is awesome because uh, I don't think there's any other Dragon's Breath pepper sauce on the market that I know of. Uh, so I'm super excited. I know how hot these peppers actually are. And because he is such a sauce master, he was able to actually make this kind of a medium to medium high heat hot sauce, which I think is awesome because then that allows so many more people to enjoy Dragon's Breath peppers because normally most people won't touch them. Nobody wants to, I should say not nobody, but most normal people, and I don't say normal to be, to be mean, but pepper heads are just a different kind of person. They like to push the envelope when it comes to the Scoville level. So by making a hot sauce that's a medium high heat level hot sauce, way more people can experience super hot peppers. So that is just awesome. And the second thing is I have another bottle here, my second bottle of hot sauce. This is Accuser. This is a, a sauce that he gave me probably a couple months ago. And I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to do all of my sauce taste test on video. I wanted to try them all for the first time on video and let you guys know what I thought. Currently, the Four Horsemen is probably my favorite sauce. Uh, it's it's pretty good. It, it's, it's definitely up there. We'll say that. So we'll see where these fall in today. Um, and what I'm also going to do is... Uh, Kyle has created a Facebook page and a, and a website for the Days of Extinction hot sauce. So you can contact him. You can order some of this sauce if you're interested. Um, it's great stuff. I definitely put my name behind it. I, I wouldn't recommend it if it's something that I didn't fully stand behind and, and think is a really great product. So let's go ahead and uh, open them up. I'm actually going to try this first and we'll save this one for last even though there's 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 only two so <laughs> this one will be first and that one will be last so as you can see i'm actually opening the bottle and like it's that simple the top just kind of peels off i'm going to shake it up open it up and on his website uh, all of the sauces that are available he has the ingredients of what peppers that he uses Okay, first off, I, I had to stop and interrupt myself. The aroma is awesome. It smells really good. It smells like the kind of fresh salsa you would get um, at a restaurant uh, that's like salsa that's made in-house. It smells really good. I'm, I'm really excited to give it a try. So let's, uh, let's try it out. So I'm going to start small first. And I'm, I just want enough... You see this stuff, this stuff is thick, so it's not watery, it's granulated. And right off the bat, I don't know if you guys can see that, there is still a seed there. So uh, I'm gonna start, like I said, start small. And the way I like to do it is sauce side down. Now a Pringle has a little bit of flavor and these are lightly salted, so there shouldn't be that much um, flavor from the chip. I should get some flavor from the sauce. I feel like this is hotter than the Four Horsemen. 
It definitely gets you on the tongue. As soon as I put it sauce down, it got me on the tongue. I can feel it in the throat, in the back of the throat. My tongue is probably the hottest part of my mouth right now. Not intolerable, I'm still able to speak. Not losing my train of thought or anything, but it's definitely spicy. Um, good flavor, a vinegary flavor, maybe more so vinegary than uh, from what I can remember from the Four Horsemen, which some people really like that vinegary taste. I could kind of take it or leave it. Um, I know it's kind of a, a flavor I'm always gonna have in a hot sauce, so I know it's gonna be there. Um, this one maybe is a little bit more vinegary than I like. It has a lot of heat to it too, that like lingering heat. And I'm, I'm sorry guys, I don't know what uh, peppers he, he puts in this, um, but it's good. So I would say that this hot sauce, on a heat level, I would call this a hot hot sauce. Uh, for most people, this would be hot. This would be a sauce that I wouldn't recommend giving somebody if they weren't accustomed to eating hot hot sauce. So Accuser is a, uh, it's a hot, hot sauce. So let's go ahead and give it round two. Oh no, oh boy, you guys see that? That's a lot of sauce. That stuff came out of there. Whew. And like I said, the aroma is unbelievable. It could probably clear out your sinuses. If you needed something to clear you out, uh, this could probably clear out your sinuses. And that's more than I wanted to put because this sauce is hot, so let's give it a let's give it a whirl. So what I do with this bite is I moved it around all throughout my mouth, and because there was more sauce on that chip, the flavor was there. I tasted the peppers, which I like in a hot sauce. I don't want a hot sauce that's just hot, that just tastes like heat. I don't really know what the purpose of that would be. I want to taste fresh peppers. And you get that in all of his sauces. Every one that I've tried, you get the fresh pepper taste. And that sucker is hot. And I don't know if you guys can see, there are seeds and stuff floating around in there. So you're going to get the heat from those seeds when you crunch it, when you chew it. You're going to know it. So in my opinion, this sauce, what I would probably use it for, and maybe I'm crazy, um, I would use it as like a chicken uh, a sauce for like chicken. If I did chicken breast, um, not something that I would probably put on my, my breakfast taco and stuff because it is a little too hot, I think, personally, for what I want on my breakfast eggs uh, or breakfast scramble or breakfast taco. But for a dinner time sauce, I think it would be killer. If, if you like actual hot, hot wings, not just buffalo style, but hot, hot wings, this is what I would put on it. This is what I would grab, this is what I would go for. But again, not for the faint of heart. So one last go round. A moderate amount, kind of move it around, get some good flavoring all over that chip. And I can see like uh, all kinds of, uh, of stuff in there, all kinds of uh, pieces of pepper that uh, have not completely been emulsified, which I like. I don't like, I, I like this, look at this guys. It stays on there. It's not coming off of the chip, it's holding. And that's what I, that's what I like in a sauce. I don't want something that's just like a liquid because you can't put it on much if it's straight liquid. You could put this stuff on a sandwich. I've done it. It's great. Um, not this particular brand, not this particular um, sauce, but another one of uh, the sauces that he made. Uh, I tried it, put it on a sandwich. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And yes, I taste very little of the chip. That's why I put it sauce side down. The chip is more of just a vessel to get the sauce into my mouth because I don't want to pour the sauce directly into my mouth like a crazy person. So, <laughs> Accuser is a great sauce. 
uh, for somebody who likes hot, hot sauce. I would not recommend this for anybody who is not a big fan of hot, hot sauce. On a normal scale of one to 10, where this would fall on a heat scale, I would probably say this is about a seven for a normal, a normal person, a normal palate for tolerating spicy stuff. Uh, for maybe for a pepperhead, it's probably about a five, five or six. So if uh, if something like if a hot hot sauce is something you're into, uh, check it out on his website. I don't know if this one's available right now, uh, Cuser, but if it is, it'd be a good one to check out if that's uh, something you, you think you might be interested in heat wise. Now comes the dragon, JB's dragon. So I apologize, my cat just came downstairs and his little bell is jingling. Uh, JB's dragon, this is a sauce that was made uh, for me. It's named after me. So that is super exciting. Thank you again, Kyle. I really appreciate it. Um, I cannot wait to give this a try. So let's do it. Let's jump in. Dragon's breath peppers. The spiciest pepper in the world, besides Pepper X, which I'm not even 100% sure Pepper X exists, but this is the Dragon's Breath. And trust me, guys, I tried some of those Dragon's Breath uh, that I grew. They're hot. Yeah, they're definitely up there with uh, Carolina Reapers. Uh, they're they're up there. They're on a they're on a uh, they're on another level as far as the super hot uh, Scoville goes. So, all right. The seal is off. The lid is off. Okay, so this is something that Kyle uh, did. He put a uh, bottle top on this one. This this older uh, version does not have it. He's actually in like a production of these sauces. He he bottles uh, a lot now, so he's uh, stepping his game up, which is awesome. I love that. Uh, so it's kind of like a. Uh, uh, a modifier, I guess, or a, uh, it's going to keep from sauce just pouring out and shooting out kind of like it did on that, excuse me, on that second chip. So let's give it a try. Now he had told me that this is a moderate level spice. So <clears throat> there it is. It is on there. It's definitely a thick sauce, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it has a fruity kind of aroma to it, which is interesting. It makes me wonder what else is in here, um, but let's give it a try. Okay, first impression, yes, it is hot. Well guys, I really wanted to shoot this in a one cut because I wanted a first time reaction, but my daughter is sick, she has a virus and she has two ear infections. She started crying and that is just an unfortunate uh, event that happens when you have kids. If you hear the pets in the background, Yes, we have a dog, we have a cat, and they make noise, and your kids are gonna make noise. So, had to take a quick break. My wife went and got her, so she's better now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get into JB's Dragon. I have tasted it, I just tasted it like five minutes ago, and I'm gonna be honest with you, not what I was expecting. And here comes the cat again, so here comes his jingle jingle bill. So, back to the taste test. Okay, got it on there. Again, thick consistency. He's got a little regulator on the top of the bottle. Which is a good thing and a bad thing because I get why you wouldn't want to over pour, but I am having a little bit of a problem getting it on the chip, which, I mean, it isn't a big deal, but I did kind of spill it, so. 
It is what it is. Such is life. So here we go. Okay, another chip. Getting it everywhere like a maniac. I think that's a pretty good coverage of the chip. And yes, my daughter is crying again. If you guys can hear her. I apologize, she is sick, so. She's been fighting an ear infection for like a month. They keep putting her on antibiotics and it, it is what it is. It's life with a 16 month old who goes to daycare. So, here's my thoughts on JB's Dragon. One, it's fruitier and tangier and sweeter than I was expecting. This hot sauce is not like a regular hot sauce that you would put on a breakfast taco. This hot sauce is something that I think you could flavor really anything with, including stuff that you would put sweet stuff on. So maybe if you were making an Asian style meal, this could work. Uh, pork is another one that people like to add sweet stuff to. This JB's Dragon is something you could put on those kind of uh, foods, stuff that are, is complemented by a sauce that has some sweetness to it. But, like every other thing I have ever tasted that's made with Super Hots, and I've tasted a lot, it has a sneaky heat, and it sneaks up on you. So as I was eating those two chips, the heat's not really there, it doesn't really bother me. Here comes the cat again. <clears throat> but now, as I'm sitting here, talking and contemplating my thoughts <clears throat> it's it just got me in the back of the throat it's creeping up on me so here are my thoughts here's my comparison clean up the sauce that I spilled. This one hits you immediately. This one's like getting stung. As soon as it gets in your mouth, it's burning, it's hot. You know it's coming. You know it's a hot, hot sauce. And it hits you right off the bat. But it didn't linger. It did not stick around. This one, it's sticking around. It's getting me in the tongue as we speak. And like most super hots and super hot infused stuff, it's getting hotter. My tongue, and the front of my tongue, is burning. And it's getting not uh, to where I would have to go drink some milk or eat some bread or something, but it's getting hot. It's reaching a, ooh, that's close to an unbearable stage. So he has this as a level three, a medium uh, heat hot sauce. But here's my take on it. It's a hot, hot sauce. It's not a medium, <laughs> me personally. And I say that because it's, he's not wrong. It's not necessarily hot, but it has sneaky heat. And if you're at all familiar with super hots, their heat is like that. That's why so many people can eat a ghost pepper, can eat a Carolina Reaper. And they'll, <clears throat> they'll, you know, and they'll get 10 or 20 seconds in and they'll feel the effects and they'll be like, ooh, this is hot. But it's one or two minutes later that it reaches the unbearable level. Now, the, what I will say about this is that unbearable feeling in my tongue that was re uh, reaching a point, it's now starting to subside. So I'm still able to talk, I'm not sweating, but I'm not, I don't ever sweat when I eat hot stuff anyway, so that's not a good indicator. But it's definitely sneaky hot. So don't think of this because it has that sweetness, because it has that tanginess. Uh, I don't know if you put mango in this or some other type of fruit, but it's a good sauce. And like I said, with pork, 
maybe with a pulled pork or something, this stuff would be killer. Um, sneaky heat, instant heat. More of a lingering heat, dissipates faster. So, that being said, both of them, great bottles of hot sauce. Both of them, great flavor. This has a better flavor, in my opinion, for me. This one is a really good hot sauce. Uh, again, I'd probably use it to make like hot, hot wings. Uh, I'm always thinking when I'm when I'm trying hot sauces and eating hot sauce, what would I put it on? This one, uh, what I would like to try it on, pulled pork. So I might maybe do a uh, slow cook uh, pork butt or something like that, or a uh, pork picnic, you know, something like that. I, I would want to try this on there, and I might do that one day. This one, if I make some chicken wings, or even drumsticks, or even chicken breasts, maybe the next time I grill some chicken, I kind of like to put this... Uh, this stuff on there and give it a try. So, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I will put the uh, link to the website and the link to his Facebook page in the description. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Again, Kyle does sell this stuff, Days of Extinction. Uh, reach out to him if you wanna give it a try, if you like hot sauce and hot peppers and stuff. Uh, he, he's making some great products. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be safe. I appreciate y'all.